As you can see, um, this thing is equipped with a uh, grinder and um, side with no grinder. Uh, when you get your sink magic, you just since this is a short travel sink, you might want to configure it with a shorter end sleeve into the plug. Assemble it this way. Now there'll be no problems uh, inserting it into the uh, into the large um, grinder. It should go in fairly easy because it's, uh, the grinder side is larger than the the one without the grinder, but since since this is brand new you'll notice that it's it's still kind of sturdy so what you uh, if you try to insert this uh, by just wetting on the smaller sink the one without the grinder you'll find that it'll be a little harder to put in but the best way to um, to work with that if you find that your your sink is harder to push is to just put a little dab of soap at the rim and that will help you uh, push it in with no problem at all it goes down quite considerably now if you find that it's popping off automatically like like so This sink is not as tight as some other sink. So what you can, what you need to do, is uh, you might not need soap for that type of sink because uh, this sink has been used with Sink Magic quite a bit. So the rim on this one is smooth. The other sink that hasn't seen Sink, sink Magic might be rough. That's the that's the one that might need soap. For for this uh, <clears throat> example. All you need is water and push it and then you can fill it with water. It should stay. Now um, the best way to use it magic is um, use it on the grinder side because this is where your food debris will be. Um, and then the easiest way is after you're done is you just lift it up and all the food debris will get sucked in the grinder as you can see because we're using sink magic we are able to create a basin and this is where the plates would be uh, after you eat after you use the plate, you can just slide it in and then just leave it and come back to it later. And let it soak. So when it's time for you to wash it, it'll be fast and easy. Right now we're filling it out, uh, it's approximately 3 gallons. You can configure this to be a deep basin. That'll be a deep basin or a shallow basin where the water will just be right here and and so you don't uh, use a lot of water. As you can see over here we have a, a super capacity uh, sink that could handle a lot of dishes because of sink magic. Uh, usually this will take you um, you know like 30 minutes to 30 to 40 minutes to wash if they're crusted with food debris but because the sink magic is underwater this will only take less than five minutes and uh, the wonder of sink magic is as you can see the water is not going to overflow
So it just keep draining over here. And that will effectively enable you to wash dishes continuously without overflowing. Yeah, that's a demonstration of uh, magic uh, enabling you to wash continuously without overflowing but you have the option to stop the water because right now you have water that is very clean And then when you're done here, you can use the water to uh, wash large pots and pans. Using sink magic, you're able to recapture rinsing water, which you can use later on as a uh, as a pre-clean soaking water for uh, new dishes. Done.